Hey guys, part four of Dead Rising 2 Case Zero. We are actually just starting to get all the bike parts. We had just saved a couple last part. Um, Which were actually really helpful. Yeah, they gave us $15,000. We're going to need that later. If, because you, if you want to save some of the... Well, we need to people. save them because we can't save the little girl for Bob. Um, I don't know. Considering we haven't saved him yet. Well, ten hours until the military arrives. God damn it, screw you, man. Alright, first one, which was really obvious. Which we didn't get until the end because we, we weren't thinking. We, we didn't think of it. We were like, alright, wh where where do we have to go? Wh this, what's our last one? First thing to get, and actually the easiest, is the gas canister. If if you uh you can attack with it, but it really doesn't do much. It's kinda like the Left 4 Dead, uh Gas canister takes about two or three hits, maybe, to hit, hit anything. Yeah, it really is just useless. So pretty much all you really need to do is while you're running with it, just start to uh, melee everything that gets in your way. It really is your best bet. Or, I'm sorry, jump over everything that gets in your way. Kind of just jump to the side or jump away. So, you aren't, so you're not attacked, which is the main case. All right. The girl you hear in the background, if you do hear her, is Gemini crying. She lost her necklace, which was the only thing that her husband gave to her that really, what she really wanted. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. And she wants it back. And if uh, if you give it to her, she says that she'll give you the rest of her winnings. And it's since we haven't done that yet, we actually don't know how much that is. But we, I I think you have to talk to her for the event to be able to open up. Which makes sense, I, I think, suppose. I think it's a mission for the actual gameplay. That's a possibility, but we'll see. No, we'll see. because this isn't a real, like, in-game thing. It's like a... It's a, the it's prelude, a backstory. The it's, it's a backstory. To prelude. The it's the before the before game. Yeah, pretty much. So, if you actually buy this... I mean, I'm pretty sure the Dead Rising 2 story will still make sense, but this just gives you more insight on the story. On the situation. Oh, I had to pick up. Alright, well, you pissed me off last time, so you get to die this time. See if your broadsword is still there. My broadsword? I doubt it is. And if you do save the couple, no, it's not. Uh, go to the pawn shop and there will be another Alright, that guy up there, Bob, he's the most helpful, actually. Like I said, he'll, he's the eye in the sky. He'll kill stuff while you're he's trying to bring people back. Oh, I'll get the wheel in a minute. Like, the uh, one of the bike parts are the wheel. In the pawn shop, so you yeah, actually have to save five, It costs 5000 and if you go to the casino and destroy the things... Alright, well you talk to Bob, and he'll give you stuff. Oh, I, I gotta give you the next bike part, that's right. Yep. You need like two or three bike parts. Before he tells me the next part, I forgot. Uh, it costs 5.5, or 5,000... Alright, whoa, that was a queen. $500. Uh, Dude, I need the queen. Got him. Alright, the queen is... Mm, really it's a very, very useful item. So, first off, let's get this. We're gonna trade out my worthless shotgun for this. Actually... Let's clear a bit of a path for me. Let's go over here and get the wheel. Which is the other thing you need. Alright. And with the wheel, just like everything else, its attack is really bad, so you just kind of jump away from everything while you keep going. Uh, Bob, if you talk to him, he'll start to gun down things when you get in the area. And I think he still gums them down, even if you're not in the area. Yeah. So, he's really helpful. Especially when you're trying to retrieve items or trying to save people. Because this is the safe house. And also, uh... If you talk to the pawn shop guy, he'll tell you where part uh, where some of the parts are for a price. Yeah, pretty much. He'll he'll tell you information that you need to be able to get the parts. Like the shed key, he tells you it's um, upstairs in the hotel where we went to go get the shed key earlier. Which actually you need to get one of the bike parts, so it's very important that you that you either know that information ahead of time or actually buy or buying uh. A, a thing from him the is first, an achievement. The first one costs like 300 to to get a um, information thing, and I think the next the one... The next one is 2,500, I think. Yeah, I think it's like 2,500 or 3,000. Well, shall we go explain what the queen does? Shall we? Alright. 
Queen. Shut, shut up, Gemini. We know you're pissed oh, off and God. crying, and you sound like the witch, but it's not our problem. Etc. Etc. We probably have like nine hours and thirty minutes till the uh, military comes and kills us all. Pretty much. Something when, like that. When you're doing playthroughs, you actually do go through a lot faster than the thing. I know, I know I wasted I didn't pause it, so I wasted a lot of time. But that's alright. We're going to explain what the uh, nice queen does. If you... Her, der, 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 der. That is what the queen does. You throw it down in the middle of a group, everyone is dead. Everyone. Alright, well, I wasted a lot of time, actually, when I... I didn't pause while we were waiting for us to do the next upload. So I wasted like two hours game time, but I think I'll still be able to pull it off, if, you're lucky, right if I'm lucky. I gotta talk to Bob. I don't remember where the next survivors are. Alright, don't talk to Bob. I'll go get the next part. Just go get the shed. The shed's the easiest one to get to. That is true. I forgot how to get- oh yeah, no, I remember. Ow! Alright, actually, there's a part right back here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah there is. There's the engine. Funny how you aim, but he still has it as well. Alright. Now we're gonna have problems because this is my only weapon. Alright, uh get away from me. Cactus. Get away from me! <sighs> I say you become cactus moon. No, I'm not taking a cactus again. The cactus is useless. Alright. That might be an extra. Yes, it would. All right. Uh, there should be a shed, which actually took us two times going through to actually find this thing, which was a bit saddening. Yeah. And it's where is it? Where is no, it? There it is. It's over, here. it's over here. I knew it was. There we go. Uh, and in here is the bike forks, which is kind of the I don't know what it is actually. The shocks of the bike, I guess. I think yeah, it's the shocks of the bike. Cause this is a dirt bike, so it's just basically like the shocks on like shoes and. You're using Rainbow like a lot, but that's alright. You're using like a lot. Because I'm, I'm comparing. I suppose. Rah, 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 rah. You stupid zombies, you can't get me. Because, oh, you stupid bitch! <laughs> you stupid bitch. Look at the stupid. I don't know what a stupid bitch is, but it's it's what this guy is. Dude, triple kill. I don't care. You're gonna do in the back of the freaking neck. Uh, that, I used the queen and got a, like a 20 times 30 kill. 20 times 30? Yeah, it's not 20 kill, it's 20 times 30 now. I hope this guy's jump, it doesn't make any sense. Alright, uh, this is the third bike part. Oh, you died. I died. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I died. And I don't think I have any of the bike parts. Wow, this is annoying. Alright, I think we're gonna pause until we get the bike forks back. So, I guess this is the end of this video. Because we're too far back to where you wouldn't really want to watch this, but this being a playthrough. So, I will see you when we are running back with bike forks. See you guys.